Yum, yum. William Vaughn here with a quick tip for using a weight map as an input parameter for a gradient in Moto. For this example, I'd like to have the color change along the length of this pipe. Start by adding a gradient to the material group. Because the mesh is curved and doesn't travel in a linear fashion, the result of using distance to locator would not be ideal. We'll use a weight map as the solution. A quick way to create a weight map for this mesh is to select the polygons that make up the tailpipe and change the falloff to selection. Increase the steps value for the selection falloff and move the mesh a little with the move tool. This will create a temporary weight map named falloff. Undo to reset the mesh and rename the falloff weight map, giving it a unique name. It's important to note that if you don't rename this weight map, it could be overwritten by any tool that uses the falloff weight map. Add a vertex map texture to the shader tree, choose the map you just made and drag it below the gradient. Change the effect of the vertex map texture to driver A and in the gradient properties, change the input parameter to driver A. Open the color gradient and create a few color keys based on the values we created for the weight map. Oh, look at the time.